All right, perfect. So I made a couple comments here, and we, you know, we can delete them if we want to. But on this lecture here, what we're going to be learning is how to change the values here for approved and unapproved. That way, we can show comments or not show them in the front of the website, right in the front of the CMS. So let's go ahead to the code right now and start doing that right away. So let's go to view all comments and let's do something right here. Why not, right? So let's keep keep on going here and let's actually use a different query right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one here because we don't need to reinvent the wheel if we have all the resources right here, right? So let's go ahead and put this down here and we are going to be accepting another value and we're going to be sending this value from here, right? Instead of sending the key delete, we're going to send a key saying on approve. How about that? Huh? Beautiful, right? And we're going to be sending the same ID. Actually, what's it? Post ID? Yes. Actually, it's not a post ID. We need to send the comment ID because we, we are going to be on approving that comment, just like this one right here. We could have just copied it from there, but that's fine. All right, so let me make this a little bit like this so that way you can see it. And let's change this to comments. Perfect. I think it looks good. What do you think? All right. All right, so we're going to say on approve. So we copy this one already. We copy it right here on top. All right. So let's get ahead. Let's get the keyword right here and copy it also. And let's put it right here. Perfect. All right. So we're going to not delete, but we want to update. And this statement actually is going to be very different. We're not going to need any of these actually. And we're going to say update comments set status. And let me just double check that um, column. I think it's common status. I'm not 100% sure. Let me just double check right here. Comment status. That's what it is right here. All right. So comment status. That's the column in the table. We're going to set it equal to what? We're going to put the static value right here. That static value is going to be this on approve. All right. That's what it's going to be. So when we click on that link, we're going to get it right here, turn it into the comment ID, right? And then we're going to update comment set, comment status equal to on approve automatically. All right. So I think we're good here and uh, we need to on approve approve comment query all right I think that sets it good and of course we have to unapprove it right there too we have to get this ID right here so we change the status right away I think right now it should work fine the way it is all right let's go ahead and try that out actually they're all in on approve right now so Let's actually make the other one real quick too. While we're here, right? So we're gonna make another copy of that and space it here and just take the front of it, take the front of it, and take the front of it. Nice, right? All we had to do was this and take the front of this one too. Perfect. And let's copy this one here. Take it all the way to the top. And we're gonna be sending it right here approve we're going to change this to comments and it's going to be approve and it's going to be equal to the comment ID perfect look at that I think we're doing great what do you think all right all right let's check it out real quick Let's click on enter on the browser and when we click here, it turns it, everything into approve. Okay, so what we need to do is actually 
create a because if we do unapproved it will unapprove everything so we don't want to select everything all right we just want to select a couple things all right so set update comments set comment status equals to approve where what where comment ID equals to what All right, to comment ID right here. Let's do that. Let's do our where statements. We don't want to right here. Let's do another where statement right here. Oops. Where comment ID equals to comment ID. All right. Let's check it out right now. All right. Approve. Perfect. Unapprove. Approve. Approve. Unapprove. You see that only one changes. Unapprove. This one changes. And unapprove. That one changes. Perfect. So now it, it is working. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. I, ho I hope you were able to get some valuable knowledge out of it. And I'm happy that I was able to teach it to you. See you in the next lecture. Take care.